Uh oh. Oh, wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> you better hurry up and take that picture, man. Just <laughs> Welcome back to our New York series. This time, I'm fulfilling a promise that I made to Maria some time ago. She's been wanting to explore the neighborhood where I grew up 20 plus years ago to see for herself the places in my childhood stories. And oh boy, do I have stories. And while we're at it, why not get a bite or two of some local food favorites? This is Flushing Queens. Uh, are you prepared? It's gonna be overwhelming. You <laughs> think? This is the last stop on this train. Everyone, please leave. There's food right next to you if you want any. Yeah, we can grab <laughs> I don't recognize any of this. No? No. I know that there were some shops, but I don't recognize any of them. Where that Dwayne Reed was, there used to be a Woolworths. And where you see that Macy's, I think it used to be a Stearns. But uh... What the hell is Stearns? Some department store that used to be here back in the day. So cool. Seeing rice roll. Ooh. Look what they have. Do you know where we're going? Cause... Uh... I do. I mean, I remember some of these streets. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What are we getting? Baked goods? Uh, some baked goods, yeah. There's just... There used to be a bakery here. Now, um, I don't think it's the same name, but uh, they used to have something called tuna bread. Hopefully, they still have some. All of your favorites. Right. We have one more. What are you smelling it? It's good. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know which one it is. This one of those. The bakeries in Flushing are just ridiculously good. Maybe some of the best in New York. <laughs> it really brings back some good memories of when I used to come here with my sister. One tip that I would give you guys if you're craving something specific is to come early. By the time we got to the neighborhood, the shops were sold out of a lot of things. I mean, you can't go wrong with what you get. But we thought we should mention that. So what are we getting? I think we're getting the cow toast because that's all they have left. Uh, there's napkins there. It's good stuff. Has a cow flavor? No. Not really. It tastes like a Whopper. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cow meat. I guess so, yeah. It's beef, so it tastes like a waffle. croissant waffle or they took a croissant and they turned it into a waffle and they have a lot of toppings on it like whipped cream fruits all that stuff it looks really good look at that people so the croffle is really nice it's a dessert and um they did have some of the savory versions like uh, i think i saw one that was kind of looked like a pizza and another one that had like ham and cheese on it i think it might be misremembering Mm -hmm. But the dessert ones look the best and uh, we kind of wanted something refreshing so this definitely hits the spot. And Maria has eaten almost the whole thing. <laughs> you keep talking, I'll keep eating. Yeah. Let's try the mochi donut. Yeah. The mochi donuts are really chewy. But they're nice and fresh. Like the mm -hmm. one we had was from Blossom. Mm. And remember, and it was kind of a little too chewy. So when I was a kid, I got arrested once. Well, not arrested, but you know, I got stopped by the cops and uh, they threw us all in the back seat of the cop car. How old and were you? I think maybe 12 years old, 13 years old. And the reason for that was because- Now we know why you're not in New York anymore. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my friends and I, we would jump like this wall to put quarters on the train tracks. And uh, we jump back over, the train would come, and it would like squash the quarter and elongate them. 
And I guess we did it so many times that somebody called the cops on us and yeah, I got in a lot of trouble that day. My mom was not happy. Shame, shame, shame on me. <laughs> Let's grab one of my favorite things to munch on. How do you guys feel about Korean rice rolls, better known as kimbap? You said they were gonna be small, they're huge. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were gonna be small. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna try to find the most old house. Yeah. We'll see. So, how does it feel to be back in school? I mean, it's just crazy that I, like, I remember it. I remember the building and everything. And I remember the playground and uh, I remember some of, some of my classmates. That looks like a combination. You didn't wait for me to try them, man. And both didn't wait for me to record, so I guess no. I'll try. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> so, uh, it's a mouthful. Yeah, it is a mouthful. It's <laughs> nice and crunchy. It's fresh. It was freshly, freshly made. Mm -hmm. She started making them when we put the order in. And a uh, true story, so back in the day when I used to go to this school, my mom would uh, prepare these for me for lunch. I was like, Mom, I don't want that for lunch. I want a peanut butter jelly sandwich or a bologna sandwich. And part of the reason for that was because I wanted to fit in. I, I already looked different. So, and my name was kind of weird for a lot of people. So it was really hard for me. And I felt uh, like out of place. So I was trying to find different ways to kind of like fit in. I thought maybe lunch would be one of them. And uh, my mom would get so angry at me. She would get so angry. She's like, what are you talking about? This is delicious. Because the thing was, this was strange to a lot of people. So it, it had a smell. And you know how kids are. Cheers. So this is the building that uh, I lived in with my mom back in the day. We started out in the, I guess, first floor. And my mom was always like, stop running around with your brother. Stop running around with your brother. Because if not, they're going to kick us downstairs. And uh, lo and behold, a few months later, we ended up moving from the first floor to the basement floor. Because we ran around so much. My brother and I would just go crazy all over the house. And this building was actually under construction. Yeah. Yeah. That's the one that we took uh, construction equipment from. I don't even know why. It was just some bad influence. Bad influence, we took some stuff, and I also got the cops called on me. <laughs> Crazy how 20 years go by like nothing. I still remember walking along these shops on Northern Boulevard to grab a snack or to make my way to the local library to kill some time. In case you're wondering, Flushing has a big Korean Chinese population, and you'll see it reflected in the different shops. We really wish we could have tried more stuff. Back on Main Street, we found this skewer stand that reminded us of the skewers in Beijing. You know we had to try one. So what you got there? I got a lamb kebab. Uh, yeah, I see it dripping juices. That's a lot of cumin, I like that. <laughs> oh wow, that's very really good. That's very good flavor. Like it doesn't have that uh, gamey taste that lamb usually has. Mm -hmm. It's very juicy too. Yep. Super delicious. All right, friends, time for a little shopping on Main Street. The options are overwhelming and you really have to prioritize those flavors of foods you really want to try. As you saw in our previous video, we stopped by White Bear to try their famous number 6 wontons. We also browsed all of the food at the New World Mall and settled for some fresh pineapple buns from a shop right in front. We'll show you those at the end of the video. After a little bit of walking, we were ready to fit in one more dish. 
some delicious Taiwanese braised pork rice rolls from Rolls Rice. <laughs> Try saying that fast, twice. Well, it was our first time trying anything like this. Glutinous. Mm. <laughs> is it good? Oh yeah, it is good. But yeah, it is glutinous. <laughs> oh, but the good. inside, yeah, the inside is what has the flavor. That braised pork is very flavorful. Oh wow. Oh wow. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you better hurry up and take that picture, man. Just <laughs> We're making friends here in New York already. <laughs> it smells amazing. Mm. Mm. That's so soft. It is. I like this. Thank you so much for coming along with us on this tour down memory lane. If you're curious about those pineapple and tuna buns, we'll show those next in our super messy hotel room. <laughs> Apologies for that. The one that I'm used to, it looks more like the bun, like this bun. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but they have this one and it's, I mean, yeah, it's in the shape of a bread. Let's see what it's like. I don't know if it's gonna be the same though. Mm -hmm. It looks similar. It looks similar? Yeah, all right, let's take a bite. It, it tastes similar, but the other tuna bread, the bread was a little bit more, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? It was less less spongy uh, and it was a bit more crispy, but the tuna inside, yeah, it has good flavor. It reminds me a lot of the one that was like back then. But yeah, the bread is more like, um, this was kind of like a brioche and the mm -hmm. other one was more... I like it. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. I want to try this one. The pork floss one? I've never had anything with pork floss, I think. Yeah, I, 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 I have it. I, I can... Mmm, it's good. Yeah, is it filled? Is it, like, does it have filling? No filling? Oh, okay, it's just bread with the pork floss on top. So yeah. it's a uh, very fluffy, spongy bread. Um, let's take a bite. It's good, I like it. It's hard to explain, but... Yeah, because there's sweetness from the bread. The bread is kind of sweet. And then you get a little bit of that salty from the pork floss. But this is really good, and you're right, in this case it's kind of like, like if it was barbecue pork turned into pork floss. That's really good, I like it. I think we've had these, but I'm not entirely sure. You know what they call it, pineapple bun? I do not, I'm assuming it's because of the uh, color and shape yeah. on top of the bun, so I've never had this, I don't know what this is. It's like, it has like a sugar coating. Kind of looks like a cookie. Kind of reminds me a little bit of melon butter. It's Some like butter? the Chinese version of right, it thinks. Mm. I don't know what's inside. I can't like, I can't really tell what it is. I think it's meat. Let me, let me try it again. <laughs> it could be me. I have no problem with me. Oh yeah, that's pork. It's pork? It's it's good, so right? Good. Mm hmm Good choice, even though we didn't know what we were getting. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Let's just try it. Bun, yeah, let's, it. let's just try it. All right, well, that's it for our snacks here at the hotel, and we're gonna call it a day because we're tired. We walked about eight miles. I don't know if that's a lot for you guys, but it's definitely a lot for us, and our feet are tired. We're just gonna prop them up, watch a little bit of TV, and take a little nap. <laughs> All right, later, guys. <laughs> <laughs>